So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the look that I'm wearing right now. And I'm going to be using mostly the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there right now with this, um, but that's because it's a really, really, really good palette. And the other things that I'm mainly using are um, powders from Bella Pierre or Bella Terra. I don't use any kind of liquid makeup in my makeup routine. I find that it just kind of keeps my face looking a lot more natural and it's not as bogged down. So I don't ever, or at least I try not to use liquids um, on my face. And uh, yeah, it's my first kind of makeup tutorial ever, so I'm just kind of getting started with something like this. And I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you want to see how to get the look that I am wearing right now, please keep on watching. Okay, so first off we're going to prime our face with Fix Plus. Then I'm going to just prime my eyelids with the 24 hour eye base from MAC. You just want to make sure you get it all over your eyelids. Next I'm going to apply the Burnout uh, shade from the Naked 3 palette and you want to make sure that you get this all over your movable part of your eyelids. I'm just doing this with any kind of um, eyeshadow brush, it doesn't have to be anything special. I'm not taking it all the way up, I'm just keeping it nice and low on the lid. Then with the fluffy end of the brush that comes with the Naked palette, I'm just going to apply the Nooner shade into my crease. Um, you want to make sure that you blend this in with Circle like circle motions and windshield wiper motions. Again, I'm keeping this pretty much in my crease. I'm not taking it up too high and I'm not really bringing it onto my eyelid. I'm just keeping this nice in the crease to give it some base color. It's basically going to be our transition shade because we are going to apply a color right on top of this. So you just want to make sure you get it all blended in. Then the next color we're going to apply is just honestly any kind of purple eyeshadow that you have. I'm using one from the Sephora Lookbook Collection. I don't think you can get this one anymore, but honestly it doesn't matter. Just pick any kind of purple shade you have. So this is going to give us that purple kind of pop in the eye look. I'm just using a concealer brush. It's a natural bristle brush. It turned out really well in, in this case, so I'm just using that one. Again, I'm keeping this nice and centered in the crease. I'm not taking it up too high and I'm not taking it down too low, but you do want to make sure that it's all blended out and there's no harsh edges. Next, this Buzz shade from the um, Urban Decay palette is very difficult to, uh, well not very difficult, but it doesn't really show up as much unless you use the Fix Plus. So I like to dip my brush in, pick up the product, then spritz my brush with the Fix Plus. That way I'm not ruining the pan. And you just want to put this all over the movable part of your lid. Then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to apply the shade Dark Side. Um, I'm just kind of darkening up the crease at this point, giving it a little bit more dimension. And you want to keep it nice and centered in the crease. So you can still see the little bit of purple above and to the side of it, but you don't want to go in halfway um, on your eyelid. You do want to keep it to the outside of, like the outside V of your eye, if that makes sense. Again, you want to make sure that there's no harsh edges. You just kind of want to pop it in there and make sure that it's nice and kind of darkening up the look. Then with the flat shade of the brush that comes with the Naked palette, I'm just going to go in with the shade Buzz and um, line my bottom lid. Then with the pencil brush, I'm going in with Dark Side again and I'm just darkening up that bottom lid, just smoking it out a little bit. And then I'm connecting it to the top a little just so that they're not disconnected. And I'm fixing actually a little bit of the sides that weren't quite blended in. Then with that same brush I'm going into Blackheart which is the darkest shade in the palette. Um, I'm just going really really close to my lash line and just darkening up um, the tiniest little bit of that outer V. Then the Dust Shadow, this one has quite a bit of fallout. Um, I didn't use any Fix Plus this time because I didn't want that big of a change but you can definitely intensify it with the Fix Plus. And now with an angled liner brush, I'm just going back into the black heart, which is the darkest shade. And I'm almost tight lining um, very, very close to my lash line and creating a little bit of a wing. You can definitely use either cream um, eyeliner or you can use liquid eyeliner, but I just wanted to keep it all with uh, powders and I think it gives it a bit of a softer look. Also helps if you make a little bit of mistake, it's a lot easier to clean up. Now I'm going in on just a very, very wide eyeshadow brush and I'm putting on the lightest color in the palette which is called Strange and I'm just doing that to highlight my brow bone a little bit under my 
eyebrows. And I'm also taking this time to kind of blend it in with that purple shade, just so that it doesn't kind of look so choppy. Um, to do my eyebrows, honestly, this is just a dark brown eye pen, eyebrow pencil that I found at Walmart. It was super cheap. It was like two bucks. Um, I have kind of perfected my eyebrow routine since shooting this video, and I am going to shoot another video to show you exactly how I do that. But I essentially just start with my arch, and I build out from the outside of my eyebrows to the inside of my eyebrows. I'm using the actual the side of the pencil. I'm not putting the pencil straight on my skin because I don't want any super harsh lines. After that I'm going to go in with the Amazonian um, clay tinted brow gel just to kind of fill in and separate my eyebrow hairs. Give it a little bit more of a natural look. Now I'm just going to put on some priming gel. This is from Bella Terra. I find that the gel um, is pretty good when you're going to use powder foundations and I'm just applying it with a q-tip because I didn't want to put my fingers in the jar. And I'm just cleaning up with a uh, just like a paper towel. I didn't put anything on it. It's totally dry. I'm just wiping away some of that fallout and kind of perfecting that winged edge. Now I just want to massage in the gel. Make sure that it's kind of in everywhere and there's no gel that's not massaged into your skin. Now I'm going to use actually the same powder that I'm using as my foundation. The nice part about Bella Pierre products is that you can actually do this. Um, they don't have something that's specifically just a concealer. You use your foundation as your concealer. Applying it with a concealer brush just make sure that it's a little bit more localized and it applies a bit more shadow exactly where you need it. Then I'm going to go in with a big natural goat hair bristled brush and I'm just doing half of my face here to show you the difference um, that it can really make and it's such a small amount of product you don't really need a lot it's just important to really buff it into your skin so that it actually gives you a result and there there's the look before and after so it does make quite a bit of a difference um, it's nice and natural it's not heavy on the face and so I really like this for just days when I don't feel like wearing heavy heavy foundation which honestly is a lot I don't like heavy foundation <laughs> You just want to buff it in all over your face. Now I'm going to take a MAC brush and I'm dipping into the Milk Chocolate Bronzer from Too Faced. I know that you're not technically supposed to use a bronzer to do your contour, but the shade and the smell is phenomenal. Uh, the shade is dark enough that it does kind of look like a contour on me, so I just kind of use it for that. And you want to do the hollows of your cheeks as well as a little bit on your temples. I have a pretty big forehead, so I want to contour that and make it look a little bit smaller. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going in with the blush from MAC. This is again on a Bella Pierre natural goat hair bristle brush. Um, you don't need a lot when you do it this way. That brush does pick up quite a bit, so I honestly just kind of I tap it in and then I buff it all over my cheeks where I want my blush to be applied. And it works pretty well. Now this part is really interesting because this doesn't really look like a bronzer. It has a lot more illuminating effects to it, but you just want to pick up a little bit, brush it into the cap until all the product is inside the brush, and that means that it's just going to apply all over your face evenly. So I'm just kind of blending everything in. Um, to give it more of a, I guess, a natural look. Um, but it works really well. It gives you a little bit of um, something for the light to pick up on. Then I'm going to use the What's Up, Hi What's Up Highlighter Stick from Benefit. Um, I know that I'm putting cream on top of powder, but in this case it worked because this is a very natural look again. And so you can see that light really pick up on the highlighter at this point. After this, we're going to use mascara. So we're going to put on the Lights, Camera, Lashes Mascara from Tarte. Um, I kind of like this mascara. It, I mean, it does the job. I never put more than one coat on my lashes. I'm lucky enough that, as you can see, they're, they're pretty long and all I really need for them is to be separated. Um, I do have other mascaras that are my favorites, but this one was close by and I needed to use it up because I only use one mascara at a time since they do go bad after three months. And then you just want to put a little bit on my bottom lashes. Then I'm going to finish it off with the Amazonian Butter Lipstick. This one is just a nice like peachy pink look. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. This looks really, really nice. And it's super um, moisturizing and comfortable on the lips. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. This was the look. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more videos. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much.